away. We had a film program that was just starting, and just getting off the ground, and I was looking for a way for students to be able to show their abilities and what they had done to, uh, to the public. And one day I was walking through the hallway and the art students had their art all over the walls and I, I really enjoyed looking at it and I thought, well, what if there was a way that film students could show what they do? And so I decided we should have a screening. First year's winner was Bloodbath, which was directed by Brad Maggard. And at the time, I thought it had a, had a great title sequence with the blood falling in and the very interesting kill sequence. And it just really captured the imagination of the audience. People were asking us immediately, can, you know, will you do this again next year? So we knew we had a hit on our hands. And my initial thought had been just to have a film screening every now and then with all kinds of different genres. But we soon found out that people really wanted horror. They wanted horror movies more than anything else. So we had another film screening the following year. And we had some great films that year, but far and away the one that you know really got people was called A Day at the Lake. It was directed by Kyle Vandegriff. And this movie really raised the bar of what was going on because beforehand what we had done is um, these horror movies were all just really scenes, just, just murder sequences was all it was. And A Day at the Lake was a complete movie with storyline, multiple characters, all kinds of things going on. And, when we showed it to people, they absolutely loved it. And it was the third year of the festival that we came up with the name Cinemortis, uh, just to give the whole thing a, a, a title. Because before that, it had just been called Student Film Screening. You know, there was, it wasn't any hype around it, but it became an event that we started really putting in the newspaper and people started coming out until the crowd got bigger and bigger, you know, upwards of three or 400 people. And it was at the fourth Cinemortis that uh, we, had a, we had a film again by Kyle Vandegrift that, that won. Uh, called Human Vehicle. They came in and said that they wanted to have a full-sized winged demon burst out of a man's stomach, which I didn't think was, was possible, but they managed to do it. And the bar for special effects, again, was raised. That year the theme was monster movies and after that we went to, uh, we went to some uh, literary adaptations and we had two excellent films that year. We had The Telltale Heart which was a, an adaptation of the Edgar Allan Poe yes, story that's so well known um, and, and really the, the performance by uh, Kaylin Perdue in this movie and the way it was directed by Scotty Morrison. Um, very, very good film, and that year we also had Rats in the Walls, uh, directed by Felicia Starr. Very, very horrifying, very disgusting movie, a again with something I didn't think was possible. There was a extended sequence of, of a person eating another person in this movie. <laughs> I think one of the scariest films that was ever done was Carnival Clown, which took this environment we're in now, the Ollie Center, and made it this haunted place uh, where terrible things are going on. This was the first time we'd had a split screen years. There was a vertigo zoom in the movie and just a really, uh, really high amount of production value. And I remember when Carnival Clown was shown at Cinemortis, that was the first year that I had seen people just they reacted differently. Norm normally they want to see the blood and the gore and the effects and they're kind of laughing and cheering and everything. This is the first time I saw people clutching one another and saying, oh my God, I'm gonna go, you know, this is, you know, I'm being really scared. Uh, they, were, they were terrified by this movie. And that, I think that was the first time we saw that these films could actually have that kind of effect and be scary in that way. This year's festival will actually begin with a, uh, a movie that we all collaborated on together last year called Zombie U. We had, uh, we wanted to tell the story of a zombie apocalypse going on on the Carl Albert campus and what would happen if, if uh, two pockets of students isolated in, in different buildings 
were to fight against these zombies. So we have a group in Johnson Hall that's fighting zombies with scientific implements and acid and fire and everything. And a group in the Hamilton complex that's trying to hide and trying to stay alive as well. And then they all come together and they meet some National Guardsmen and then there's a, a huge firefight sequence between uh, these armed soldiers and the zombies. And all the zombies we brought in are actually students from Poto High School who helped us with the makeup and were zombies for that evening for us. So there's, there's so many people and so many things involved in this year's Cinemortis that I simply cannot wait to see uh, where this whole thing is gonna go. Every, every year it's better and better and this year is gonna be amazing too. <laughs> it's distracting, Leo. I'm making sure nobody's coming in. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the, the coveted oarsman position by the door. Wow.